I feel Bobby here, he's holding the rain up. I could feel it because it's so humid out that he's literally holding the rain up for me because he knows I'm going to kill myself in <laughs> rain. We were supposed to have a tent and the tent company bailed on us at the last minute. Yeah, don't ask. Oh yeah, we always tent it because we never know. So we got lucky. Um, I miss him, of course I miss him. I miss him, but we knew this day would come and uh, he always said to me, one more, that's it. So it's always one more, that's it. And I'm doing his one more, that's it. Um, and having it again for ITOG, International Thyroid Oncology Group, to raise money for research with thyroid cancer. And all the, you know, people think that it's curable. It's, it is for many and it's not for everyone. My daughter, Ali, gives me a lot of inspiration. You know, sometimes when you feel like you can't go on and you have children, it kind of gives you the inspiration. But I think I healed a lot faster than Maybe you might think because I've been, you know, mourning Bobby for a year and a half. When we got the diagnosis, it spread to the brain, and he was given a very short time. We knew. So that the process started a long time ago. Um, and so the healing process gets to start early, you know. Uh, but I miss him, and I'm going to go visit him this weekend. I, he's right around here in Amagansett. And, uh, but I'm happy, you know, I'm happy that I could do this for him. I'm happy that I knew him. I loved him. He was the love of my life. You know, who knows what's next? You know, I, I, yeah, I mean, so I'm not, you know, I'm in like, yes. In like. I'm in like. Is he here today? He is here today. He's walking. How could he not be here today? You know, he's, he didn't know Bobby. There's all kinds of rumors that aren't true. He didn't know Bobby. Um, I know him through tennis and I know him just socially. He's, in, you know, I know. Um, and he was, you know, after after it was all, you know, everything, I was playing tennis a lot and he played tennis with me. He's much better than I am. So <laughs> you always want to play up, never want to play down. Um, anyway, so of course he's here with his family to support me and, um, you know, he's really good to talk to. He doesn't mind when I talk about, I talk about Bobby all the time and I refer to things that he said and there are little things, you know, Bobby would do this or Bobby, would do, and he, you know, he loves hearing about him. He actually respects him. He's younger than Bobby was and he's heard so many great stories that what a mensch, you know, Bobby was amazing. He was one of a kind. And I think he'd like to, you know, that he looks at him as like an inspiration kind of guy. Somebody started a rumor that, you know, that I was in talks with Bravo. That's not true. It's not true. But would you come back? I would like to come back as a friend. I've said that before. I would. I don't know if my friend would like to do it, but uh, yeah, because I, you know, I have the time now. I couldn't do it for many years because of Bobby and I was taking care of him. But now I have the time. And I think Luann needs me. She texted me this morning and she wished me good luck today because she's always here. I think she missed one year and it was a really good reason, but she's always, she was in Europe, but she's always here for me. And she was thinking of me this morning, which meant a lot.